turning a harmful byproduct of trash into treasure. It's what a group of artists in Jackson County do daily. Glassblower Cole Johnson, blacksmith Jesse Bolding, and technician Kevin McNiff show how the Jackson County Green Energy Park is not just inspiring local artists. It impacts the air you breathe and the region's natural resources. So I've been blowing glass about 10 years, and I like these ornaments because uh, when it's not the Christmas season, you can hang them in the window, and they're really nice sun catchers as well. I took my first gather out of that furnace. I made my first piece on that bench down there. This shop means a lot to me. If this wasn't here, I would either not be doing this at all, or I would have to drive an hour one direction um, to do it. And now it can hang from the tree. We have quite a few artists that make a full-time living out of here. It's a wonderful little place here. I'm just doing a, a custom order. A lady wanted a uh, little fire poker. So right now I'm just physically squaring the rod. With each pass two, I'm just working down the line. And the more square I get it, the more kind of sharp these dimensions will be. It sparked like my interest that I already had for blacksmithing, but didn't know it was possibly attainable. This is the last heat before I start to twist it. The fact that it runs on trash, I think it's awesome. The landfill is always changing as it decomposes. One of the primary contaminants they're concerned about, or at least they were concerned about in our landfill, was dichlorobenzene. I think it was 600% over the EPA recommended limit when our extraction system started. Within two years of it being online, we went to 60% under the EPA recommended limit. Burning it gets rid of some of those contaminants that are in that, well, all of the contaminants that are in the gas because of the temperatures that we're burning at. So like our glass shop, Something this standard size is going to range anywhere from three to five thousand dollars a month in fuel costs if you're buying your fuel. Um, studio rental is a little cheaper because we're not paying for propane. The methane that uses to power these forges is it takes off the stress from the environment and doesn't pump into the river, so that's amazing. We're actually helping the environment by burning off the methane gas and at the same time being able to make real pretty and beautiful things. Some of these pieces in here are eight to 12 hour pieces for total work time. Just an overall appreciation of the arts and our environment is the primary thing that we're, in, we're interested in. Cool stuff. Yeah, I like it. Well, the Jackson County Green Energy Park is open to the public for tours and demonstrations Wednesday through Friday. It also offers public art classes and you can find more information for both at WLOS.com.